Hi, my name is William O. I'm the Chief of Hematology and Medical Oncology at the Mount Sinai Medical Center and the Tisch Cancer Institute. I'm a GU oncologist and I've been practicing for the last 17 years now. Uh, I'm a medical oncologist and what I want to tell you in the next couple of minutes is why I think you should absolutely positively see a medical oncologist for a second opinion before you make a final decision about localized prostate cancer. Normally, medical oncologists don't get involved in such a decision. Uh, it's usually a urologist, for example, who does the biopsy. You may talk to your primary care doctor. You may be referred to a radiation oncologist. But there's really nobody, in my opinion, who's looking over the whole picture and giving you what I call an unbiased opinion about what to do. Now, I always tell people that everyone has a bias. Everyone has a point of view. And my point of view and my bias is that I take care of patients with advanced disease with advanced prostate cancer. That's my day-to-day -day practice. So my goal in counseling patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer is to never see you again. But at the time you're diagnosed, the real question is, how do you choose? And many of you who are undergoing this process understand it's very complicated. Lots of numbers, PSA, Gleason score, lots of terminology, and different doctors telling you you should absolutely have surgery, you should absolutely have radiation, you should absolutely have seeds, or you should absolutely have no treatment at all doing something like active surveillance. In the end, I think what, what an oncologist, a medical oncologist can provide is an opportunity to look at the whole picture, to step back, look at the pathology, to review the pathology because that's really, really critical, and to really explore what the details of your personal cancer are and to put it in the context of your own wishes and needs and to give you advice. In the end, I, like no other doctor, can just tell you, you absolutely have to do this or that. If you hear that from any specific doctor, I can tell you that, that that's only their opinion. There's no facts around that. But in the end, what you want to know is you want to understand how does the cancer happen in the context of your own life, your own wishes, and what do we know about the science behind prostate cancer and the best decision making so that you can make the right choice. And that is what I think a medical oncologist can provide for you. Is it unbiased? I think it's as unbiased an opinion as you can get and ultimately can help you to make a decision.